Let me talk to you. What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Strength Classroom. Today, I'm showing you a pin press workout. It's definitely going to be the final time that I do pin presses. Let's move on to a new variation. Um, doing some clusters. No, not really. No, sorry. Sorry, I'm confusing the workouts. This is not clusters. I just wanted to get 10 to 15 total reps at a challenging weight. So I'm like, let me just stick with 275 again. That's what I've been using. I did a set of four. I did a set of three. And I did a set of three. Sometimes you don't need to go crazy. Actually, I would say most of the time you don't need to go crazy. You just need to get what's known as effective reps challenging sets that's all you need you don't need every individual exercise of your workout to feel like its own full workout now hopefully pressing strength has gone up because i'm doing a lot of these dead brutal pressing just it builds like brutal strength as opposed to like let's say finesse i could tell my triceps are definitely getting stronger there's still the weak point, triceps and shoulders, I'd say. Pecs are pretty good. Pecs don't seem to be a problem. Here I'm doing one arm overhead press, and this is a money, money lift. If this is not in, if this does not make an appearance in your routine every once in a while, I think you're messing up. I think you're messing up here. It's a great, great exercise. Core strength, tricep strength, delt strength, delt overhead stability. It's a great exercise and don't be afraid to lean to the side. I feel like a big mistake people make with this exercise is to stay super vertical straight. Leaning to the side, you don't want to make it like a bent press, like an old school strongman exercise, unless that's your goal for the exercise. But leaning to the side is fine. Think of it as like body English. Then here I'm using a total rep method where I just trying to hit a total amount of reps. I hit 75 reps on this as fast as possible. Look how big my arms look there. They look juicy. They look like two giant chicken thighs. Juicy. That's a lot of juice there. So I hit 75 reps as fast as possible. You're, you're, you're not really counting the reps. First set, 20 reps. And the next set, start counting from 21. That's how I go about it. Instead of doing all this stupid math, how many I... Just start counting. Treat it as one set broken up into many same here with the um weighted push-ups i have 20 pounds strapped on me i just aimed for 50 total reps as fast as possible it's a great way to get a lot of work in a shorter period of time but it's also a great way not to limit yourself so if you're going to do three sets of 12 that means every set is going to have 12 reps whereas if you say Let's just use the same rep scheme. Three sets of 12, that's 36 reps altogether. If you just say, I want to hit 36 reps altogether, what if you can end up doing that in two sets? You're going to get a more challenging set in set one and two. So some people are just doing a lot of sets for the sake of doing a lot of sets, and that's not really effective. Yo, so straight up, I just found out how to do kettlebell like tricep extensions, and because of the instability of the kettlebells, I feel it be like activating more muscles in my tricep that I didn't even know I had, essentially. I guess those are stabilizer muscles. I'm not sure. But this is good. This is a good lift. And then look at the juice from this angle. Finished off with some loo raises. I started doing these with dumbbells just because there's no jump from a 10 to a 25 pound plate. These are with plates, but other workouts, I started using dumbbells the implement is not different it's more about the motion that's happening in your shoulder and even if there is a difference it's going to be so fucking minuscule that you won't even notice so don't fret over plates versus dumbbells or anything else that's the breakdown for the day have a great day ladies and gentlemen